name is Vikma of ES Market Biz, and in this video, I am going to share with you the updates on the newsletter today. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So this is the website, guys, where you subscribe for the newsletter. Okay, so do you want the news to go to you, come to you rather, um, through your email? Subscribe now at preferredcurrency.news this is only for $15 a month or $180 a year okay guys so let's start right so here's the newsletter and the first thing that you're going to see once you open your mail are these um, news updates okay so here see that one Right, so I'm going to discuss to you first the new this um, the two news updates. So these are, I mean, this newsletter was received by the subscribers some hours ago. So they were the first one who get, was notified. So that's the privilege of subscribing here at PreferredCurrency.News. Okay. So here's the first one. So Nasdaq plans to introduce Bitcoin futures in 2019 regardless of current market situation. So Bitcoin futures product meant to compete with existing modest products. Nasdaq trying to satisfy regulatory requirements by CFTC despite Bitcoin sell-off appetite still exists among institutional investors. Nasdaq Inc is pursuing its plans to list Bitcoin futures in quarter 1, 2019, despite the prevailing price crash. The company wants to introduce a product that will compete with products that are only traded unassertively. So plans to launch the product by quarter 1, 2019. Sources familiar with the issue have told Bloomberg Publication the company is pegging its move on the continued interest in the cryptocurrency despite the dramatic plunge it has experienced lately. So the sources say Nasdaq has been burning the midnight oil to satisfy regulatory requirements from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission or CFTC before it can make the move. The company that operates the New York Exchange has been said to be planning on entering the Bitcoin futures market since last year and may now be readying itself to take the bull by the horns come quarter 1, 2019. So Bitcoin may have had a difficult month, but it hasn't been and as affected as the other major and minor cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's share of the total cryptocurrency capitalization has continued to increase throughout the month of November. The price of Bitcoin or BTC has so far fallen 45% this month, following the Bitcoin Cash hard fork. Caused by the failure, um, by miners and developers to reach an agreement over its future, which is said to have triggered a, a crypto sector-wide sell-off that has made skeptics doubt whether Bitcoin will survive this time around. So interestingly, Bitcoin's dominance has continued to tick throughout the month from a low 51% to 53%, showing Bitcoin's ability to ensure so much to continue attracting cryptocurrency miners and investors. Bitcoin's plunge not an issue. So um, the price of Bitcoin went above three thousand five hundred dollars this week, the first time in fourteen months, which is eighty percent down from its peak of December two thousand seventeen, and cast a shadow over hundreds of cryptocurrency startups that came up over the last two years. Mm hmm. While reports of Bitcoin's demise have dominated the media in the last few weeks, the original cryptocurrency is still worth more than it's worth in the summer of 2017, long before other altcoins were created. Nasdaq CEO Adana Friedman said in January 2018, the exchange was trying to distinguish its plans for futures contracts from what was already in the market. Nasdaq says its futures will be based off the Bitcoin's price in numerous spot exchanges. Despite Bitcoin's massive sell-off, it may still appear like the appetite of cryptocurrencies persists, especially among institutional investors and the traditional financial services industry. 
Okay, so that was the first um, update or news update. All right, so let's go to the second one. So BCH powered Bitcoin files project adds IPS IPFS support. Okay, so let's open this one first. All right, so let's start. So last October, the developers of the Bitcoin Cash powered Bitcoin files project launched the first iteration of its censorship resistant file sharing software. At that time, the platform allowed users to upload files of 5 KB or less to the blockchain. Now the latest Bitcoin files release supports a decentralized interplanetary file system or IPFS, which allows users to upload much larger file sizes and gives the ability to preview files before downloading. So Bitcoin files project adds another layer of censorship resistance. Bitcoin Cash development has grown significantly since the hard fork last May which increased the block size and added new opcodes. One initiative that has made its debut this year is the BitcoinFiles.com project, developed by the BCH programmers James Kramer, Attila Arrows, and Haptic Pilot. The file sharing platform allows anyone to upload media files backed by the IPFS protocol in the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. These features add a thick layer of censorship resistance to content uploads as the files become a permanent fixture on the open web. How the Bitcoin file system, BitcoinFiles.com system works with the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So the Bitcoin files platform recently added IPFS support by working with the Protocol Labs project. IPFS, otherwise known as the Interplanetary File System, is a protocol designed to make the internet far more distributed by creating a peer-to-peer -peer network of content addressable hypermedia. Cryptocurrency projects have been using the IPFS protocol for quite some time, including platforms like the Open Bazaar Marketplace. Back in 2014, IPFS developers leveraged the BTC blockchain in order to store unalterable content and obtain address data tethered to files. Digital asset based organizations that use the IPFS system within their products and applications believe the protocol adds a better form of overall, overall decentralization. So BCH developer Chris Troutner detailed on Twitter how excited he was to see the Bitcoin Files project integrate the IPFS protocol while explaining the process. Troutner confirmed that uploads are working and downloads are on the way. Additionally, the developer shared information about the file he uploaded as a test. The Bitcoin file URL led by the um, led to a BitDB network entry, and the file is also accessible through the IPFS gateway. Trainer's message further explained that the hash to re retrieve the file is stored forever on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So files are available to preview and download on BitcoinFiles.com. Um, so here it is. So larger file uploads and ability to preview content due to the IPFS integration. Bitcoin files users can upload much larger files than the previous limit of 5 KB or less. Currently, the organization's file explorer and the list of available downloads show files exceeding 5 KB. Mm -hmm. So, where were we? Okay, sorry. For example, a 200 MB file can be uploaded to the IPFS protocol, but adding a file to the BCH chain alone without IPFS is still constrained by 5 KB or less. Additionally, on November 5, the Bitcoin files programmers added file preview support for MP3, web, text, and image files uploaded to the platform. This means users um, can avoid downloading a malicious virus or something that's entirely different to the file's description. The Bitcoin files creators believe there's a great need for a reliable anonymous file sharing system. The blockchain is an immutable, globally distributed pseudo anonymous data storage device. Files uploaded to IPFS and Bitcoin Cash blockchain can be shared with anyone in the world using a simple URL. Slay the underscored statement on the organization's website. Okay, so those were the two uh, main updates on the newsletter today. So, guys, um, um, here it is. Um, the, 
invitation to the tel private telegram group of the subscribers okay and also here it is um, Donald the Guru's um, spreadsheet so this is Donald the Guru's um, research list so as you can see the top coins for today are Bbox token, Cardano, Dash, Komodo, NEM, Bitcoin, EOS, Seller, Capcoin and Tron so in this spreadsheet um, you can find different technical analysis information <coughs> information so as stated in cell A1 the red have negative news so stay away from the red uh, from the coins or tokens that are shaded with the red the orange tan are neutral the yellow, yellow are fair the green have good news like the reds and blue are showing the best news so the blue ones are the best ones that you should include in your research list as per doll the guru which um, are showing the best news today okay so here it is right so as you can see there's a lot of information here okay guys right so let's just go back so since this one is a view only um, spreadsheet you can edit the one by following the instructions here below the button okay so also there are other useful um, other um, other information also like the high volume change the interesting technical price action the high weekly trade volume and the high Google search activity lists okay so if you want to earn crypto each month by becoming an affiliate and so that you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep um, um, join their affiliate program by clicking this picture here or by just going to the website and clicking affiliate at the upper right corner okay so and also guys um i made a note here this is important you only have less than 24 hours left to so go to this one this website right um sign up and enter your email this one sign up and your EOS wallet name address so you can get some free seed tokens issued by parcel so if you miss the deadline you will already be registered for the next airdrop next month anyway so it is still worth doing ASAP you'll need to answer two easy questions on their website when registering for the free airdrop also so here it is and I'm going to um, discuss to you what is parcel so Parcel is a platform that utilizes leading edge technologies to create a supply chain that is efficient, transparent, and safe. So what is a reward drop? The traditional airdrop model is broken. EOS holders receive airdrops and quickly send them to the market, not taking the time to engage the community or really find out about the project stands for, for what the project stands for. At Parcel, we wanted to engage the EU's community but also create a chance for an equitable and fair stake and reward those who follow the project and support our mission goals the reward drop will be distributing 900 million tokens in monthly airdrops over the course of the next 12 months so how to participate let's go to this website parcel uh, reward.co slash access slash sign up and enter your mail and EU's wallet name address so that one so you get some free seed tokens issued by parcel all right so that is the update today and stay tuned for tomorrow's um update right so guys also um here is um the list of all the eus airdrops and upcoming eus airdrops so if you have time you can visit this, visit this website so as you can see um some are nearing its deadline already like this one so this one carriers here it is so claim it so drop date will be on december 12. right so also um here it is um, if you want to get rewarded in crypto by do doing social service on a blockchain um, and get rewarded in crypto visit um, download lumius.io in your favorite app store or in google play store okay and if you want to join 
initiative queue you can use my initiative queue invite link in the description below and also if you're fond of listening to podcasts and videos or watching videos that are related to eos um, join this telegram group to keep up with all the latest podcasts and videos being published for eos okay so guys um, i think that's it so before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself all right so guys this has been vic um bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies uh, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe thank you bye